West Side Cigars. We're filming, as promised, on location here at Connecticut Valley Tobacconist. I have Andrew again featured here in the video, as well as our normal uh, partner in crime, Connor. Um, I don't know, it might be a little bit hard to hear me. Uh, I've got a case of that tonsillitis that's been going around. You want me to set up what we're doing? Sure, go sure. for it. All right, so <laughs> we're, we're doing this new thing. We're doing cigar roulette. As you can see, no nothing on it, no bands or anything. We're, we're doing uh, a new cigar, an, in, an infused cigar, and we're going to do a blind test of this. You know, well, you obviously blind with that outfit you're wearing. You don't know what the fuck you're doing. I love this. <laughs> this is my smoking jacket. Yeah. I love this thing. got it for my 30th birthday. But yeah, we're going to do a blind taste test. Oh, yeah, we're going to give our comments on this. It's very nice. We're not going to divulge what we infuse it with just yet, but we'll get to that at the end, and we'll see if we got the notes from it. Now, before we light the cigar, you guys have any thoughts so far on uh, just the pre-light draws? I know Connor's picking up some interesting stuff, so what do you think so far, Connor? Just before we even light the cigar, what are you thinking of it? Um, you know, it's... I know this is definitely not what it's infused with, but um, flavor-wise, when I take my pre-light draw, I get like a weirdly, like a sweet tea flavor. Interesting. Right. Um, and, but uh, as far as the cigar itself, um, it's a Toro, right? Uh, more like a Robusto to me. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, it's a little small. Is, it, is that a thing? Mm -hmm. Mini Toro. <laughs> I, guess, I think that's an actual Mini Toro. Toro, Toro. Anyways, continue. Uh, but the bantering. it's well constructed. There's no super hard or soft spots in it. Um, wrapped beautifully. I don't know if you can see that at all on the camera. And uh, decent pre-light draw. Not too soft. Not too firm. That's what she said. I uh, I agree with Connor as far as the construction goes. I'm some veins from the leaf on mine that aren't showing up in his, but you you get that a lot with any cigar, you know, just depending on what part of the leaf was well, used. It's, it's good for Josh because he likes some vein. Hey, <laughs> we need somebody with a drum back here. I got nothing to say to that. Um, now I'm not getting so much of the sweet teaness out of it. Before we started filming, Connor and I were kind of bantering a little bit. Originally, we thought we were getting kind of like a sweetness from corn whiskey. And I'm actually kind of sticking with that. I still think I'm getting some of that that type of sweetness. But otherwise, you know, it's an excellently constructed cigar. Nice nice color on it. No humidification issues. No plugs at all. Well, you could yell at Andrew for that if there was. Well, yeah, of course. <laughs> uh, but we're, we're known for well-constructed. Right, right. Uh, Battleground Cigars are known cigars. for well-constructed, veiny cigars. <laughs> <laughs> So well, Andrew, what do you think about this cigar so cigars. far? Well, I don't, I don't want to go into it because it, it's uh, kind of my... It's a mystery. Right. Right. But well, light him up. I will up. say I'm excited to see how this plays out. I will say that. I'm All excited right. to see how this we, plays Like I said, we got a 10-minute clip line, but we could that, burn it, so, I mean... And on that note, uh, why don't we uh, light these up and Connor try not to burn your eyebrows off with that thing. Well, light them up and just keep bullshitting and stuff. That's right? a serious, serious lighter. Right the first but, couple of draws are pretty peppery and sour. Oh, did you already light it up? Oh, yeah. What, what are you smoking, Jay? I'm sorry. No, I'm a stereo, so I can't beat it. What the hell am I smoking again? I forgot. No, the Mysterioso is an excellent cigar by Battleground. Uh, you're smoking the Oliva V Series. Oh, that's actually another good smoke. I, well, you got, I got it last week, so I had to get it again. But yeah, apologies. Uh, I know we had said that we were going to do um, a different cigar tonight, Paul Gamerian, but uh, we're doing something a little different. These came in, Andrew was saying, and he wanted to get the ball rolling on these, so we'll push the Paul Gamarian back another week. Hopefully you guys aren't too mad at us for that. It's still something that we have in the uh, works, though, and something that we're still looking forward to doing. While we're bullshitting, you want to talk about some of the ideas and like the, the weekly video and stuff like that? Well, this is actually kind of Andrew's concept, so I'll let him go more into it, but he actually had the idea to do something called Cigar Roulette, if you'd like to talk about that. Yeah, um... Scar Roulette doing a, a blind test going into it. Nobody knows what it is. Similar to what we're doing here. Yeah. It's exactly um, what we're doing here. Also, yeah. <laughs> another thing that we were thinking about uh, trying was a little bit more of the more obscure boutique cigars. Mm -hmm. That was something that uh, Josh and I were tossing around last week in our teaser. Uh, I think we could you know, try some of that too down the line. That could be fun. Oh, yeah, certainly. Also, we were talking about 
getting into doing like a sit down round table discussion like in the week of cigars and just stuff that's out there some of the information new cigars that pop just Any so you have a weekly yeah. right so you have a weekly concept you know idea of what's going on and just does bullshitting for a little while so definitely some interesting stuff in the works at some point um, as always, if you guys have anything in particular that you'd like to see us do, whether it's uh, anything tobacco related or talking about seasoning a humidor, I know that's something that we'd like to do. It's something we've talked about. It's never actually done. But any sort of information that you guys would like to see us uh, talk about, feel free to let us know in the comment section. Um, I, I, I know Matt wants us to talk about how we clean our pipes. I think he wants to demonstrate that orally right now. It's called sitting on a toilet. Um... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, so if, if there's anything you guys want to see, uh, feel free to let us know. We'll try to squeeze it in, definitely. <coughs> Excuse me. So, I, me. although the scars have just started, you guys have any thoughts so far? I know you've smoked a few of them in the, in, you know, the process of designing. It looks them, like a fucking judge sitting in that. Yeah. This is, is uh, nice. I like this. This is a very good smoke. I need a good smoking jacket. <laughs> I'm jealous. What do you think, Connor? I'm, I'm deciding. I'm going to get some of the permeate. Looks like he's got gas. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, well, a little stout speckling white on the front. In, in, your, it in, does. in your defense, you are just getting over that whole cold thing. You got, you know, laryngitis. We're definitely going to have to do a your, reveal your at the end of this of what these are. Yeah, that, that's what really. I actually am picking up more of the uh, corn liquor flavor you were Are talking you? about, okay. but it's got a, kind of to what Paul was saying, it's got a peppery punch in front of it. Mm. And I think those two things combined well, was where I was, that is in was it in the <laughs> sweet tea flavor? Yeah. The thing is, with a lot of infused cigars, you get a kind of a flavor on your lips from the infusion. Yes. And I'm still tasting sweet tea. Well, in some instances, I can see where you get it, it from. It, it, it kind of go, it kind of goes. Good. Get it from your mama. I just, mm. I just like the fact that we're doing something totally different than what right. we did with the Darby. It's a different profile altogether. Oh, certainly. You know, <laughs> from the Darby, this is a complete 180 as far as flavor profiles go. As, as far as I know, I think right now we're the only cigar review channel that has done a live beta testing. With a manufacturer. That's actually an interesting point. We might be one of the few guys that's ever So this that. could end right. really well, or might, Andrew could end yeah. up on the floor with his ass whooped at the end of the night. <laughs> I don't know. So uh, We need drinking. Yeah, Speaking I was actually just about to say that. Connor, what were you drinking? Oh, I, I was <laughs> drinking some Lafroy that our, uh, our friend Matt was so gracious to have provided. Uh, He's over there in deep playing a game on the phone. It's the uh, Lafroy 10 here. Uh, if you like smoky scotches, fantastic. Was that I a cigar joke? I refill my glass because I wanted an unadulterated... Right. Uh, clean palate. Flavor. Yeah, I wanted my palate to be clean. Because <laughs> until I have a cigar, I don't know how it's going to pair with whiskey. That's <laughs> fair. <laughs> what I have right now is... Hey, you it's actually... Review. I've, I've seen it around here once in a great while, but I, I was recently on Nantucket for work for a few days, and they have a distillery called Triple Eight Distillery. This is their house bourbon. It's a, uh, they call it the Nor'easter. It's, don't get me wrong, I've had far better bourbons. It's quite tasty. I think it'd be a better one for mixing. One minute. But it is definitely, uh, it's definitely a good, uh, good pairs better with probably a uninfused cigar, but it certainly is pairing well with this. Something notable, too. What's that? Normally cigars have a room note. I don't smell anything. Yours isn't burning anywhere near, unless it's the lighting. Uh, no, it's, his is burning pretty good. I don't see any but smoke like, coming. I, I don't get an obnoxious room note from it. I don't think any cigar smoke is obnoxious. Like but again, to the non-smoker... 30 if seconds. Gonna, if I'm going to light up a real heavy Maduro cigar, and you're not a smoker, you're going to be like... Right. <laughs> I also want to point out, I think this is fun. I mean, they were just drinking that. I... Ironically enough, just got done drinking sweet tea. <laughs> let's so. let's take a quick pause break and then we'll come right back. Yep. See you guys soon. Jesus. All right. We, oh. Okay. <laughs> um, 
Okay, that kind of took me off guard. So here we are, part two of the uh, of the blind smoke. So now that we've uh, burned down a little ways into the cigar, Connor, I think you're slightly ahead of Andrew and I, but we're yeah. still roughly about the same point. What do you guys think of so far? Um, I think that some of the sweetness from the uh, cap of the cigar is worn off. I'm enjoying it a lot more. Okay. I'm getting more <laughs> peppery flavors, but um, it's definitely more mild than a lot of what the other battleground wine is. Not that sweet Connecticut, but a, uh, it's more grassy like a Candela. Um, it's interesting. Um, I'm not really picking up too much grassiness, but, you know, palace work differently. Also, part of that could be because Connor's not drinking anything at the moment while I am. Could be diluting uh, that. But the sweetness certainly has worn off for me, too. I'm definitely picking up some lot of pepperiness that uh, Paul was saying he was getting on his cigar. Right now, there's nothing that really stands out as, you know, the, you know, the top, top dog flavor. There's a few things that are coming at me, you know, the pepperiness, I'm almost getting like a leatheriness on the uh, smoke feel of it. Well, well it, it's a good cigar, I have nothing it's bad to say video. about it. Andrew? It's uploaded I, our chat. I gotta say, I'm, I'm loving how this is going. I mean, mm. to get like, through that little bit of sweetness, you know, so much get to the proper uh, blend, uh, the cigar period. and the infusion that they it makes, like it's, it just mixes so well. I'm, oh, I'm sir, enjoying, yeah. I'm I think he's going to make love to the cigar after we all leave. Yeah. You know, and I, it, it's something that I think a lot of companies don't think about when they make an infused cigar is you got to have a balance there of whatever flavor you're applying with tobacco mm. and the tobacco itself. That's, that's how you go wrong with a lot of these... Oh, well, a very cherry cigar. And it's like, that's cool, but if I want to have, you know, something that's just cherry, I'll go to the corner store and buy a pack of Bubblicious. Oh. Yes. <laughs> I will, if you don't mind me cutting in, I will say this. Um, now, when we do the Lincolns, you know, we, we have, you know, our reviews and reviews. When we do stuff like the Darby, those infusions are more targeted to go with the blend in the cigar that we use. It's designed to make certain things, certain flavors pop, certain flavors pop in the whole overall profile. So it's very carefully selected. And you know that's one of the reasons why it's just so good. Right. And I don't mean to toot my own horn, but he does it every night. Yeah. He, he does that every time he steps into the office. Yeah. Thank God, I, when I flew the drone in last week, he wasn't tooting his own horn. Yeah, he just finished. Oh. <laughs> well, I heard the drone coming. That's why I stopped. Okay. It wasn't the only thing coming. Oh. <laughs> Where's the drums? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's going on over there, buddy? Oh, so I could have gotten one. Tindering yeah. away. Oh, oh, swipe left. Swipe left. Hashtag it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so what, you want to hashtag? Uh, What's our Friday night? Friday night fuckery. That will be the title of this Hashtag video. Friday night fuckery. That we'll have to post that every it Friday sings. night. It, 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 it kind of flows off wait, the top. Do I win? You win. You win. That's a long <laughs> ash. Shit, I just ashed. I was going to make a comment on the um, the ash on this cigar. Is actually, it's a very fine. It's a very fine white ash. Dusty. Which, Were you guys there when Jay sniffed that line of ash yeah. at the house? What a freaking idiot. Oh, sniffed a line of ash? Yeah, I was cleaning yeah. the table, and I wiped it up, and it just happened to me in a line. He goes, you guys want to see something funny? And he sniffed it. <laughs> well, you see, sounds painful. That was kind of by design, because I know Jay, and I know he's kind of an idiot. Like, <laughs> he's a I special put breed. In line, I think he'll snort it. And lo and behold, so if it's such a fine ash, I'm doing pretty good for holding though. Yeah. No, that doesn't, fine doesn't mean not structurally sound. A fine ash just means it's burning well. Not structurally sound. That kind of sounds like this room. It sounds like my psyche. Woo! Everybody's talking about ash and nobody said anything about my shirt. What's your shirt say, sir? Nice. Ah, that's a funny one. Don't tap that ash. <laughs> Double tap. So, um, unless you guys have anything else to add Oops. for part two of it, we'll see you guys in part three when we uh, talk about the finale of the cigar. It's going to be epic. Any final part thoughts? Part three, the Revenge of Fireside Cigars. <laughs> nice. I like it. All right, guys, say goodbye. Bye-bye. Peace. Deuces.
What's up, guys? Welcome back for the final part of uh, our blind test cigar video. So, what I thought of this uh, unknown and few cigar, I'm still sticking with it. It's either some sort of a moonshine or a corn whiskey. This was the way that the sweetness worked on my palate. Again, that could have been partially because of the bourbon I was drinking. Overall, I love this cigar. Nothing huge left out for me, but it was an excellent cigar, something that I could find myself smoking a lot of. Um, not much more to add off of that. I'm, I'm still thinking corn whiskey, and Andrew's about to either make us both feel very competent in our palates, or make, or, feel like idiots. Or or make you walk out of the room. Uh, but uh, it's been remarkably consistent <laughs> the second, uh, I'd say halfway through the second third. It's, for me, it's let off the spice. It's got a little bit of sweetness to it, just naturally from the tobacco and the infusion together. And then um, still pick up a, kind of a grassy flavor. That's just me. Okay, that's fair. Well there, baller. So, now here's here's the thing. I mean, it's an interesting concept that you put on. I, I mean, I like the observations that the two of you have. It's very impressive. Um, the thing about roulette, we're really talking about like table right? More like Russian. You know, you got six unloaded chambers and a bullet in one. That's that's what uh, that kind of a think you're out of frame. Um. So, Connor, you, got you like? Them. Yeah. Oh, it was you had a bullet in your chamber, my friend. You just uh, smoked a cookie. Smoked a what? I thought something was wrong with my <laughs> All right. So what makes this video interesting, Connor, go into uh, your feelings on acid cigars real quick. So. Usually I hate them. We, and then we can interlude. I'll put a link in the video on some of Connor's impressions and how to and cut. You know, that just proves that the cold fucked with my palate. Yes. Yeah, that's true. Which is why we didn't do Josh and Mary tonight. <laughs> You're a good sport. Talk out you're, a good, ass. Connor, you're a good sport. You're a good sport. Hey, you're a good sport. You're a good sport. I mean, yeah, I'm a good sport until you find me later with a tire iron. <laughs> He's going to be having a. I did sport. Ah! It's going to be a crying game moment in the shower later. You can play it along well, Andrew. Yeah. So, what did you guys actually smoke? We actually had Mysteriosos. Yeah. It's like, son of a bitch. That's <laughs> <laughs> Connor. <laughs> Chris, bring the camera up. You can see the color difference in the wrapper. That's uh, great. That's are great. you serious? Yep. And, I and the ashes, too. Oh, he's putting it out. <laughs> I thought they were all confused. I'm scared. I'm scared. Is that really what happened? Here you go, Connor. Connor, you're a good sport. Yeah. <laughs> Connor, because you are a good sport, here you go, bud. This is good. What is it? I don't trust myself anymore. No. <laughs> so go ahead, tell them what it is. You tell them what you got. It's, uh, it's a Padron 64, the king of cigars. That's what it's got right now, actually. Oh, yeah, that is a good cigar. Hopefully this this means we can still be friends. Now. That just means get ready for next week's your last. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna have Connor set that up. Yeah. So I'm in trouble. We're both fair game. Can I, know, can I, I don't know. Can what I play? I want to play yeah, next week. We all can play next I wanna, week. I want to play next week. <laughs> so uh, Friday night fuckery. <laughs> Hashtag. <laughs> Hashtag it. Friday night fuckery. Uh oh. Oh shit. I didn't, pack. I didn't pack tonight, I can't defend. Hold on, stick him up. Okay, don't worry about it, he can't open it. Yeah, I hate you ass. <laughs> I'm going to have to play back his commentary what he thought of the cigar while he was stabbing that. Yeah, Paul and Mysterioso. So we'll have to take turns. Yeah. And let. So this was something you guys arranged until I had the time to fuck with me. Yes. I already found. I already found out. I had no throw. part of this until I showed up tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have to be guilty because I witnessed it. Hey, all y'all. <laughs> Right. We love you, though. We love you, though. That just means that next week we're gonna get fucked. Hey, cleanse your. Hey, Connor, cleanse your palate real quick. Yeah. 
Don't you dare! Not Kirk, because that's low! You have to wash the taste out of his mouth. You should make one of them smoke that fake Cuban so back. <laughs> Better? <laughs> <laughs> really, you are a good star. I'm surprised I'm still awake. Like, so like, oh, he's going to die? Like Any good news? We got just shy of five minutes left. Uh, unless you guys have anything else to add? Well, the good news is thanks to their offering of the Padron, they are going to wake up with testicles tomorrow. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you idiot, I'm married. Yeah, we gave them up a long time ago. I don't have any of those. My wife looks better. It's a funny looking song. I didn't smoke it. I smelled it. I thought you were inside. So, uh, so, how did you pull off getting that to smell and taste somewhat like what it's not? <laughs> I'm sick. That's how. Bullshit. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I, I went around and I looked for any cigar that would look just like the group of people. Any final thoughts before you murder us all? Yeah, he's going to wait for us to shut the camera off. <laughs> yeah. If you don't hear it from Andrew Tarnowitz, Josh Renardi, Chris Spurgis, <laughs> or Paul, Paul had nothing to do. I am definitely not on my way to Mexico. <laughs> Jay here sitting real quiet. Oh, he blurred. I had, I had nothing to do with this. I found out halfway through, and I thought they all had Google Leaves. <laughs> I think it made Connor sicker. It's not really good, but the my spirit. Why would he introduce something so mean? So uh, yeah, maybe next time we'll hold off on Rocky Pierce uh, testing. <laughs> oh no, no, I picked the cigars from the roulette next time. Yeah. 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 Crap. The little right. A little late to the party. All right, one. let's enjoy the rest of right. the night. Have a good night. We'll good see you guys later. Yeah, right. Say bye, Connor. Ha, ha, ha.